Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. If you want to know who this disgusting being happens to be that you're looking on the screen, this is a man by the name of Jason Pope. So he was a popular DJ in Florence, Florence, um, South Carolina. But why do I think of him as the evil person? Well, because of what he had done. This is, uh, first of all, once again, shout out to Tariq. He's the one that reported that this man is a 42-year-old suspect, white supremacist, pedophilia, who, di who was diagnosed with AIDS and allegedly raped and had sexual contact with over 600 black females meaning that some of them, if you see in some of these photos, were willing to go with him. Others may have rejected him, but he forced himself on him. And all of them may or may not have known that he had the HIV virus or AIDS, full-blown AIDS. And he has been reported for many, possibly years. But the law enforcement in South Carolina did not charge him. So that means he was able to get away with this. But, but we know how this justice system is. Because let me tell you, if this was a black person that was doing this to 600 white females, that person would have gotten the Bill Cosby treatment. Or even worse than the Cosby treatment. He would have been dead. They would find his body somewhere if he was messing with six, if this was a black dude messing with 600 white female like this. They would have found his body instead. And you know what I mean by that. But anyway, there's also been rumors that this may have been the son of some judge or some politician in California. So probably could explain how this justice system works and could explain why he has been getting off the hook. But the fact that he was diagnosed with AIDS and that now some of these women could be at risk of being affected with the disease may have already had it and there may be nothing they can do about it. There's some pictures. I'm not going to go down this whole thread. Shout out to Tariq, by the way. But because there's some just some crap, some of these pictures on the below are a lot more graphic. So I will I do not want to get this video flagged. So I'm just only going to stop here. And I only was going to enlarge this part, this picture, because, like I said, there is some graphic pictures that I will get this video flagged if I were to post this and posting this on YouTube or other um platforms but ah, this also explains the terrible sickness of swirling and the horrible nightmare of population control first of all the sickness is swirling you have some black females or even some black males who are willing to get up with these people whether it be white man white female who are racist or have dangerous diseases just because they do not like being with their own kind. They have so much self-hate that they would rather, if they were to hook up, they would rather be with the worst, most hateful, most racist, and most virus-infected individual that's non-black than be with a healthy, and they'll pick them over the healthiest, cleanest, well-respected, well-mannered, intelligent, wealthy, black person on the planet. That's how some of these, these self-hating swirlers are. I'm not saying all of them were self-hating swirlers. There may have been some who still love black men, but just they thought that this dude they were just fine looking for love. 
and they just happened to find, come across him. They thought they could trust him, and it ended up being bad. And they may had no ill will against black men. I mean, and so I do not have problem with those individuals, but I do have problem with those black swirlers who did mess with them, who did know who he was, and they just messed with them just because they didn't like black people, or in particularly, or black men. Yeah, that's what I mean by the sickness of swirling. But like I said, there were some women who did reject him, who would prefer their race, or just didn't, wouldn't prefer just only him. That they, they would not want to be with just only, they did not want to be with him. And he was alleged, allegedly raping them, attacking them, sexually assaulting them, and he would never tell any of these individuals that he had a se uh, sexually transmitted diseases. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is how is this ties with population control? If you're trying to stop a race from expanding, one way to do it is to destroy their ability to re uh, reproduce. One thing, if you cannot stop them from being pregnant, you can try to stop them from wanting to have sex with anyone or to try to stop them from being in love with uh, having sex or having anyone from having sex with them. One way you do it, give them a virus, a contagious one like a STD. You in infect as many men or female with a virus of a particular race and particularly if the white supremacists affect more black people with diseases like uh, HIV, AIDS, gonorrhea, uh, um, H, hepatitis C, or some kind of viral contagious infection, then not only would other black people, but no one in general would want to be with them because they didn't want to be, they don't want the risk of getting sick. And also, even if they could still have children, those children could be genetic, genetically and um, inherit those what viruses or other illnesses so therefore you just you make it to where you don't want to be with them sexually or you just basically destroy their chances of procreating and that's been a, another way that population control has been declined Look what the colonists did when they came here in America. They did the same thing to the Native Americans. They gave them contagious, they, when they were raping them, they gave them contagious diseases such as measles, smallpox, tuberculosis, uh, uh, the common cold was a lot more deadlier or just the pneumonia was a lot more deadlier. Because they didn't have some of the treatments that they used, they now do back then. Um, and that's how they were able to, um, use popu uh, population control on the Native Americans. That's why there's not many Native Americans in, in this country. They are, a um, majority of them are either in reservations or spread out through North America, but there's a small. Native Americans were the ones who uh, are the original inheritors of this land, along with na um, indigenous black people, were the biggest, are they also considered Native American who inherit this land. But a lot of them were killed off by diseases. And he, this man right here, this Jason Pope, going back to him, is just another example of what the racists will do to destroy our populations he is doing basically even if he thinks he's not doing it he's doing exact playbook as what his ancestors did when they were coming in bringing all these kind of illnesses they yeah because they they sick being sick didn't stop them from um being allowed to sell across 
to different continents and nations and lands and stuff like that. They didn't have regulations in the past where if you had an illness, you can't come across, go to this particular nation or this nation because of a certain illness and stuff. Nah, they just came and went as they pleased. And that's led to why all some of these illnesses are spread. And then also there's the whole thing about AIDS may have been created man-made, not coming from naturally, and was meant to use to target particular groups of people to destroy populations and stuff like that. So yeah, like I said, Jason Pope took a, just took a trick off that same playbook that his ancestors and fellow races have done. This man, and you know there's laws against hiding your illness. Yeah, there is some states and countries and cities where you have to tell if you just purpose, if you purposely know that this virus is dangerous and you just purposely spread it, that is considered a crime in some states and cities or anywhere in the country. So, and so he should be charged. It's reckless endangerment. Yeah, you can be charged for reckless endangerment because of a, a deadly disease that you may have. But this guy was willing, was able to escape being um, the law. The law just was protecting him. And I heard rumors that he may have been the son of a politician or judge, which also explains when you have those kind of positions that can, you know, help you get through the cracks. If he had a relative that was part of the justice system, that must have been why he was able to get off the hook special deals and stuff like that may have been and that allowed him to continue these acts and over 600 black female those are black females that we could have had our children that people may not if they are still alive and are, have these illnesses like aids there are just some people yeah it's gonna uh it's gonna hurt them they're going to be sick. Um, yeah, they may not be able to have children. But, and it could be because people, if people know they have the illness, they may not want to take the risk. They can't have unprotected sex anymore if they got these illnesses because it will spread on to other people. And then, like I said, if even if they were to able to have children, the, that child could be inherited of the virus that was how they would destroy population control and then also once again the sickness is swirling you think that if you the grass is green on the other side you having self-hate and going on the other side the grass is greener just picking someone out of the community just out of nowhere not vetting them not looking at their background and stuff but you're just going with that person just because he was not uh, he was not a black male or a black female or, or he, you just want to be with someone outside their race without vetting them or making sure they were perfect because you just had self-hate against your own race. Well, that's also to the fault of some of the swirlers who were willing to be with this guy. Now, to the victims who he forced himself, who rejected him, but he just forced himself I do feel sorry for those victims because if they rejected him, then I feel sorry for them because he, like I said, if he raped them, that means he forced them and it may not have been 100% their fault. Now, if they were consensual and knew they had, he had this virus and had self-hate issues because they were swirlers who just didn't want to be with another guy or in particularly or a black male in particularly or just another guy in general well then that's kind of also their fault at the same time because they knew this guy was dangerous and they still trusted him and now they're in the predicament but as for this guy like i said before i hope they finally 
if he uh if, if they caught him finally i hope they finally charged him and finally found a way that they could put him in jail for good or do some kind of harsh punishment because some of the especially these black victims some of these especially some of the black victims who were forced on who he forced himself on who are the victims and now are stuck with a disease um they did some do deserve justice they need to also be a civil lawsuit that he needs to you know evolve money financial lawsuits so he at least pay for their medical bills so they can get that settlement money for medical bills and stuff like that if they have contracted the uh any kind of illnesses like aids um so yeah and this guy needs to be punished uh shout out to Tariq I'll leave the tweet um in the description box and comment section uh but that's all I have to say for now I want to know what y'all think in the comment section um like the video share the video subscribe if you haven't subscribed and make sure you hit that notification but that's all I have to say for now this is J-Dog thank you for watching and I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace, everyone.